not too far away now from getting this men's at 40s grand final underway. Big crowd are building here for the final match of the day. And like you said, Michael, there's plenty of players that know each other. They played a lot of touch against each other. But talk us through some of the uh, star players in this New Zealand side that we need to watch out for in the grand final. Yeah, we've got a few um, in this New Zealand 40 men's uh, uh, team. Players like uh, number two, Scotty Grant. He's been around and played at the highest level here. And three, uh, Stephen Wall comes from the New Zealand Open mixed environment. And he's done quite a few uh, World Cups as well. And... Uh, George Yonke, who's uh, attending his seventh his seventh World Cup event, so uh, great achievement by some of these players here. Here we've got uh, Grant Robinson, the likes of uh, other players, uh, Benji Page, Rodney Birch, all players, are great link players to make a really pretty formidable team. Yeah, star-studded are the New Zealanders, but the Australians, on the other hand, they are as well. Look for number two, Troy Morgan. Uh, the captain, Gavin Shuka, in at number seven. And uh, Tony L. Tashi, the number six, the scheming creative playmaker for the Aussies. So we are almost ready to go here. We hope you're enjoying the coverage of the gold medal matches through the BBC live stream. And the Australians, they get us underway. Drew Davies taking the tap for the Aussies. And just a little bit clunky there, Wayne Gleeson. He receives the ball back. He looked to turn in towards Troy Morgan. Does now. Coming across the field, Drew Davies again. Morgan, they fake to go to Morgan. They come on the outside. And has that been held? No, the sideline referee has called ball down. And Paul McPherson couldn't quite hang on to that. But uh, the ball just kind of went over the head of the link and didn't quite connect with the wing on their opening uh, play good, there, the Aussies. Good defence shown by the New Zealanders, but we're still early um, in the game, so both teams will be just uh, finding their feet as they come through. And here we go. There's a hand in the, let's say, hand in the ruck area, border ground, so the New Zealanders get another six. So progressing up through the field with Stephen Wall. He gets the ball back, Wall. Captain Scott Grant now with the ball, just taking it nice and easy at the moment, Seabeck. He's still going, is Seabeck looking to connect? But the diving touch has been made there from Wayne Gleeson. Just a nice little uh, quickie play there by the New Zealanders. There they go, they set themselves up here, Scotty Grant, one of the generals of the team. Scotty and Seabeck, let's see what they do. So the Grant gets out. the ball he back again. Back. They go wide. Great defence by the Australians. Winger holding his ground. And here they come, the Australians through the field. So the first time for the Aussies working out of their end of the field. They're going to head towards the substitution box now. Morgan, he makes his way off. It'll be interesting to see which players stem onto the field. Atashi has made his way on. They're just crossing the halfway line now with Dean Taylor. And they go the pop pass. Now, this is a play that we saw really frequently in the semi-final from the Australians. Just a little underhanded pop pass is a little play that they bring out frequently. So keep an eye on that one as New Zealand defended well. And within a couple of touches here, they're going to get over the halfway line. Good yards by George Jonke coming through. And Stephen Waugh making the play. And here we come. Puddles, Jason Puddles just settling up. New Zealand coming in nice direct. Nice little bow, just get themselves back in the middle. Let's see, gone short side, let's see what the Australians do. Referee calls that as a touch and pass, a penalty to the Australians. Yeah, Craig McHeron just crabbing across field. It looked like he was just in second gear, wasn't really going 100% across. The Australians did really well just to slide across and make the touch, and it was a touch and pass penalty. So Australia now working down the right-hand side. Again, more players on the field. Gavin Shuka dishes. Nice drive into the line. As Shuka goes into half again. He's getting himself set here again. Shuka's to go from dummy half now. Look like he made contact with the New Zealand player. Half is caught. So I think a fair call regardless. And he's been pinged here for throwing the ball away. And New Zealand advance up a little bit further up the field. Here we go. Jason Puddles with the ball, making his way through the subbing box. New Zealand, get a fresh pair of legs on. Got Scotty Grant with the ball at the moment. Oh, New Zealand is just looking to uh, put the ball in the hand. Well stopped by Shuka. So here we go again with a reset to number six. 
So they go back towards the middle of the field. Rodney Birch, they're driving in. They look for that wraparound play. Now they switch back to Birch. They look to go long. Are uh, the referees happy? No, they're going to come back for the forward pass. It has come out of the hands forward. So the Australians are going to get the penalty right on the five metre line. Good call by the referee. It certainly travelled forward on that one. New Zealand, or New Zealanders, have probably had the um, short pass going on as well. So a nice little wrap play, but Australians uh, weren't caught out on that one. So here they come through the field. Yeah, they head back out to that right hand side, juggled there from Shuka just over the shoulder, but manages to hold on to the ball for him driving up the field as well for the Aussies. They come back into the middle of the field now. Drew Davies switches in Morgan. He goes to fake switch, drives into the line as Morgan. They come back to this left-hand side. Big looping pass. Can they dive in? Big flick ball on the inside. Wow, that was entertaining from Paul McPherson. Worthwhile throwing because the cover coming across from the New Zealanders was going to make the touch. So almost pulled that off. Nice little trick play from McPherson. Exactly. The idea was right. Just the execution was Probably 20 years too late on that one. Um, but here they go, New Zealanders. And Yonke, great yards forward by George Yonke. And again, Yonke and Wall have been a combination over the years. It's a ref. Let's go, of course, I think. Yeah, there's a conference going on here. The Australians and New Zealand is both pleading their cases. Now, both referees, oh, I thought they were going to have a chat. They're going to interchange. It's definitely going to be a penalty to New Zealand. They had the Australians completely on the back foot in that play. There was two or three of the players that were offside, and they've got six touches to defend the line here. Oh, Jason Puddle just almost got underneath. And Good defence by the Australians. Yonke and, and Puddle's... Let's see them set up something again. Nice quickie play. Yonke back to Puddle. Comes off the left foot. And the touch was claimed first. So good support on the inside, but the right hand middle for the Australians making the touch as well. They look to switch in now. Jonathan Mason, he drives in. Puddle comes from half again, looks to go right to left. It is caught in the corner. They look to flick back on the inside and it's picked off there from Troy Morgan. Referee call a touch and pass there. Yeah, really good play by the New Zealanders. Stepping short side and then throwing long. Just, uh, just wasn't able to execute that well, but Australia equal to the task as they make their way to the subbing box area. Yeah, Reynolds dishes off to Morgan. Changes flowing onto the field for the Australians. El Tashi throws it more in towards the middle of the field. They're driving in nicely with Dean Taylor now. El Tashi goes into half. Does he look to go long or short? Flicks it over the shoulder. And yeah, nicely read there in defence from Jonathan Mason. So really, New Zealanders are promoting their links up early, so they're really getting into the passing lanes of the Australians. So well done, New Zealand. And Johnny Mason from the Waikato area, great defence. Here we go, Scotty Grant back on again. Yeah, he's got to move himself into the acting half position here, Grant. And Seaback, nice exchange of passing. Seaback goes into half now, takes on the Australian defence. They get the deflection and it's caught. Yeah, comes off the hands there of Tony El Tashi. Good positioning to be able to reclaim the ball, slam it down, and the opening touchdown of this match goes to New Zealand. And that's that's a try to New Zealanders. Do we have the hooter? So that's the first quarter over. That seemed like a, a quick first quarter. Now there's some questions being asked here. The Australians have got their hands up. The Kiwis have got their hands up as well. There's a little bit of conversation happening. I think the first quarter, that there might be an issue with the timing. Both teams have gone back out onto the field. So, the, yes, they are going to continue. So the Huda just went accidentally in the background. So we're still into the first quarter now. Sharon Geibel moves into half, switches in, Shuka. So let's see what the New Zealanders can do on the line. Stephen Wall's up. That's New Zealand has got to be careful here. They've got to make sure they're advancing forward or otherwise they'll get a penalty. Wall back up, makes an early touch. Here we go. Australia look short side and they look back long. 
Play on is the call. They're just going to, well, I almost thought it was it was risky from the Australians. They gave up on the play, just hoping that they were going to get the penalty from the referee. He does give it in the end, but they got to play to the whistle. The referee could have gone the other way and given the ball back to New Zealand. But they're putting some solid pressure on Gavin Shuker as he's trying to get these quick roll balls. They turn back on the inside, but they had him well covered. Shuker's protesting here. I think he's trying to claim that Jason Puddle has touched the ball. Puddle says not today, and they get the ball back, and they've got to get advanced up here. They're looking a little bit ill-disciplined at the moment, the Australian side. And I think that's two against uh, Gavin so far. Just, just a light questioning of the referee's decision there. Let's see what the New Zealanders, they can capitalise on this. They start to make their way through the field. Nice yardage play here. Oh, it's a bit un tidy but the New Zealanders get away with it yeah it's Benjamin Page driving forward Seabeck and gives it back to Grant Grant now into half and there's a little bit of space in front of him are there any attacking options no come up there and made the touch there Philip Jarrett so they turn the ball over and a better defensive set there and now it's New Zealand who give away a penalty for throwing the ball away so a couple of Penalties being given from both sides of the field at the moment. Here we go. Australia making their way to the subbing box as they get a fresh pair of legs on. We've got the hooter going again. I trust that it's the right one this time. Yeah, it looks like the right one. Both teams are happy to head towards their substitution box. And it is quarter time here. New Zealand are leading this one 1-0 one over the Australians. We'll be back with the second quarter very shortly. And we are back here on field one for the gold medal match between Australia and New Zealand in the men's 40s. A 30 second call is being given to the players, but New Zealand have the early lead. They've got one touchdown on the board and they did a really good job in that first quarter. And I think they frustrated the Australians a little bit. Yeah, I think so. They were um, just, just getting caught out on the line, on their attack line. So... Um I'm sure the uh, coach would have had a few words with them at halftime and say, hey, boys, you know, let's just settle it down. So the Aussies here, they're going to the in-goal area. And Not again, we've got issues with the Hudo. I think they might have got underway a little bit earlier than what they should have. Lucky there wasn't a touchdown that could have caused some angst amongst the uh, teams and officials here. But play on is the call. New Zealand, they're just going to get on with the job. As they come out of their end of the field, Benjamin Page just driving forward. He's done a pretty good job at that for the Kiwis so far. Stephen Walls moving into half. He was dangerous in the first quarter. He's looking dangerous again. He's catching the Aussies. Napping floats it on the outside. Yeah, I think the referees are going to say the Australians are offside. It looked like it was the case to me. And Stephen Wall, again, dangerous from acting half. Gets number two on the board for the Kiwis. Great play by the New Zealanders. You can see Stephen Wall basically coming off from the subbing box, lining up behind Yonke. A really good dump and he's scooping through the line, just catching the Australian defence off. 
Oh, they're going to have to do something about Stephen Wall when they're transitioning. He's getting himself into the acting half position. He's getting through the defensive line of the Australians every time he has a go at the moment. But the Australians, they're looking to hit back with Altashi. They look to go short and ball down. So they're just not connecting at the moment, but the New Zealand are doing a really good job to put pressure on the Australian attack. Good shot by uh, Johnny Mason there. Coming up and shutting early on there. New Zealand making some good yards through the line. Just tapped on that one here. Need to initiate the touch a little bit more. Here we go. We're looking for someone to go forward. Looking for the opportunities. New Zealand playing live ball. It's back in the middle. Here. Here we go, Scotty Grant. Who can he see going forward? Yeah, the referees are happy here, Michael. They've got their third on the ball, but like you mentioned, you've called it perfectly in the lead-up. The New Zealand side just throwing the ball around at will, and at the same time, they were just progressing up the field. Beautiful right-to-left uh, pass on the finish of that. Nice score in the corner as well. The Australians, they're in big trouble here in New Zealand. They extend the lead out to three. Great job by the New Zealanders. Being able to play a little bit of free ball, playing what they can see in front of them, and then when need be, went back into a structured... Uh, organized play strike so well done New Zealanders well, let's see if they can if the Aussies have an answer this time coming down the field Sharon Guyver with the ball now Jarrett is going to go into half they've taken the pace out of the game back to Sharon Guyver now Shuka switches around the back it almost opens up they might get six more to go they're going to get a penalty Instead, New Zealand players being called from the referee as not moving forward. So six more touches here to the Australians. Nice little late follow by the Australians. Catching uh, Stephen Wall, I think, off just not making the five and then coming forward. So great little play. Let's see what they can do this time. The execution. It's a bit of a late. Yeah, Shuka is trying to catch the, the Kiwis rolling back, but they're out of the five. Some positive touches there by George Yonke. Yeah, they're completely disrupting the roll ball for the Australians. They're doing a great job, the Kiwis. And Shuka throws the ball away, puts his hand up to apologise for his team. But they haven't even looked like scoring at the moment, the Australian side. Stephen Waugh, first yards up. We go. New Zealand fortunate at that stage. Not quite sure if they need to be throwing those 50-50 passes. Let's just make uh, our way forward, fellas. Jason Puddles with the ball now. Yeah, really trying to get the over-the-mark penalty on that occasion. Shuka as Jarrett, he's going to give a penalty away. <laughs> and Jason Puddle says, thanks very much, mate. He just gets one in the face. So it was sloppy play there from the Australians. Didn't, didn't need to occur. Right, and New Zealand got a fresh set of six, so got some strike players out there. Here we go, Scotty Grant and Jason Puddles, combination from way back. Oh, that was just sloppy off the ground by Scotty Grant. Uncharacteristic of him. Yeah, wasn't a, wasn't a good ball, that's for sure. Might have just slipped out of the hands at the same time, but yeah, really disappointed with that effort with Scott Grant. As Australia now, Troy Morgan works his way onto the field. Comes into half now. New Zealand doing a good, a good job on uh, touching in front, making sure that they're not getting caught behind the play. But the referee, nice. Yeah, ball down is the call. So again, the contact in the ruck, and that looks to be a little bit of a get square there from Reynoldson. But they are really frustrating the Australians. And the Aussies, they're falling into the trap go. at the moment. It's that man, Stephen Wall and, Wall and Yonke show. Let's see what they've got this time. Yeah, they've gone out over the sideline there. So, yeah, interesting little change up from Wall where he's had... Uh, Real good value is when he's just picked up and gone from half, but it was nice there that he gave a nice quick early ball just to catch, try exactly. to catch the Australians napping. I think he, I think they realised that they were too close to the line without any space to, to beat his man, so opted for the pass. New Zealand getting caught up in that uh, subbing area, so it's a penalty to the Australians. Yeah, they tap right on the halfway as Austin Payne drives in, and that's Simon Webster now doing the same thing. 
Dean Taylor with the ball just throws it over the inside. So they're still just looking a little bit disjointed at the moment. Altashi takes time to get the Aussies reset. Taylor drives in. Altashi looks for the link ball, but it sails over the head of Austin Payne. And too short there for Robert Vella to be able to have an opportunity to catch that one up. Well done, New Zealand. Scotty uh, Grant Robinson, actually great defence from the middle there, promoting himself early, really making himself a nuisance in front of that ruck area for the Australians. So here we go again, fresh pair of legs as they start to make their way through the field. Yeah, it's Rodney Birch with the ball driving again, gives it back to Puddle. Now the referees are getting into position here. Offside is the call, so more pressure being mounted on the Australians. So we've got a combination here of Puddles, Scotty Grant and Seabeck. Let's see, this is a combination that's worked well for them in the past. Let's see what they're going to do here. Oh, dancing, yeah, touch made as Puddle just came around the outside, almost getting underneath the Australian defence. Jason Puddle's got a great great low game going on here, and plus they had options on the outside, so the New Zealanders, should they choose to run their play, have got uh, two strikes on that one. Here we go, just getting caught up here. Yeah, they scramble pretty well here the Australians but they're still throwing the football around they might get a quick roll ball they're in trouble here Robbie Bella had to come in from his outside wing but good cover defense there from Simon Webster huge touch that had to be made yeah Rob Bella on that last touch came in off his wing and Webster coming from the link position to cover out here on the right hand side for the right. New Zealand as they were attacking the Australian line great defense by the Australian wing uh and it's just not able to get there uh, put the ball down on oh, time they've turned it over here Michael as we speak, it's, it's turnover. New Zealand in a prime position. There's a bit of organising going on here. Let's see what the New Zealanders can do. Craig McHeron is calling the play at the moment. And we've got Rodney Birch. The New Zealanders just having a bit of a chat. Let's see. They've got a sweet play going. On short sight, looking for a second phase. He's offside. He's gone to the wing. And that's it. Nice second phase play. New Zealanders, sweet play going short. Second phase and shooting back long side. Hit the wing. Fantastic New Zealand. Yeah, that was a really nicely orchestrated touchdown there for the Kiwis. Gavin Chuka getting himself in all sorts of trouble there defensively. Pretty much gave up on the play when he found himself out of position. Nice finish in the corner. Gee, the Kiwis, they are in real control of this match. Four touchdowns, they lead over Australia. And when you're talking a gold medal match, four touchdown lead, that's extremely handy. It's going to be really hard for the Aussies to try and get back into this. They throw it out to Rob Vella. He switches on the outside. Troy Morgan. Wow, what a hit back. But Robert Vella, that was a beautiful little switch play on the outside. He scored 22 touchdowns of his own, Robert Vella, but he gets a try assist on this occasion. Great work there from Vella. Fantastic. Fantastic late ball. Drawing the win in. Committed the link and the wing and found his link coming around the outside. So fantastic. Really out of nothing, but you can't give up. Australians any space. The puddle driving forward again here, but they're moving nicely. The Kiwis is Grant just fires it to puddle. What about the ultimate response there from the touch blacks? They hit back, they get number five on the board right before the half time break. You couldn't have timed that any better. Well done, New Zealand. That's the way to answer. I don't think uh, the coach will be saying too much to them at half time, but great result we've got. New Zealand 5, Australia 1. Huge effort is going to have to take place here from the Australians to try and get back in this match. New Zealand in complete control. We will be back with the second half of the men's 40s gold medal match in just a few minutes time.
Welcome back out to Field 1. The second half of the men's 40s gold medal match is about to get underway. It is the New Zealand Touch Blacks who are complete control of this match. The current score is 5-1 on the scoreboard. Almost the perfect first half there for New Zealand against Australia. Yeah, you know, it's, I think we need to give the New Zealanders some credit there. That was a great first half. But we've been in uh, similar situations when we've played our uh, trans-Tasman foe. So um, coach would have been saying, let's continue the basics, keep doing the things that we've been doing, and um, let trust in the process. On the flip side, the Australians, they just looked a little bit disjointed throughout the first half. But where, what are the key areas you think that they need to work on to try to get themselves back in the match? I think, you know, uh, we, we, we definitely know the, uh, the strike weapon that you've got in uh, Gavin Shooker and the players that he's got on the outside. So this is this Aussie team are no slugs. It's more about just getting the combinations and uh, the tactics on the ch on the scoreline. Right, so here and we look go. at this start from New Zealand. Seaback streaming onto the ball and everything the Aussies would have talked about in their halftime huddle about it, trying to hold the New Zealanders out. The first set's completely going away. New Zealand extend out again. Number six on the board. Beautifully worked. Uh, touchdown there from the tap off. Great play right from the tap off the New Zealanders. That's a set move that obviously they had practiced, but the Australians, that is not what they wanted to happen in the, in the first 30 seconds, that's for sure. Gleason driving forward now. Troy Morgan, he's onto the field. He's going to get the ball in his hands. He was one of their real potent attacking weapons in the semi final, was Troy Morgan, so they might need to look to. Get him more involved in the game. A penalty has been given away from the Kiwis. The Aussies, they roll it right on the five-meter line. They go back on the inside. Drew Davies. Nice, nice shot play by uh, Johnny Mason. Re the referee, he's, what's he calling? Oh, he's calling, him, I want a sub. I'm out of here. So here we go. Well, that was an interesting Hang little on. stoppage is, in play. What is going on? Oh, it's called a penalty. Not quite sure how that happened. Anyway, there's a penalty to the Aussies. They've got another six. So let's see what they can do this. Uh, George Yonke push, promoting himself early, making the touch. So the Australians have got themselves in a the prime position. They're just not getting any combinations right here. No, they're not. It's a perfect call there, Michael. And again, they're still looking really disjointed as they're trying to attack the New Zealand line. Now, New Zealand players have been called offside. They retreat back to the try line. They're all back on side now again. They come back out to this right-hand side, but straight into the New Zealand wall. But they've given away another penalty here, New Zealand. New Zealand just not retreating back one, once the touch has been made. So second time the link's been called offside. So they're doing a good job in promoting the middle and the link up, but that means they've got to work extremely hard to get back on side. So here we go. Grant Robinson and Johnny Mason up there making the touch. And Drew Davies turns it back on the inside. Well, oh. it could have almost been an obstruction play there from the Australians. Probably lucky that they held the ball. So Reynoldson, they come back out to Davies. Davies, they've just got to drive in here. They go from half. They try to create something. They can't connect up with that short ball in the middle. They turn the ball back over. And New Zealand, they hold out yet again. New Zealand doing a good, good job on their link early shot. So that's really catching the Aussies off. They're looking short on, on their plays there. But here we go, New Zealand through the field. Just looking for that extra push pass. So again, 50-50s, but it's coming off for the New Zealanders at this stage of the game. So let's see what else they've got. Yeah, beautiful control from the Kiwis Australian defender there. Reynoldson trying to get up in the line a couple of plays ago. They threw the dummy, they pushed the pass, and they got extra metres. Now, Wall, he drives into the line again. They come back short. They've got numbers here again, the New Zealanders. They get it on the outside. Well, this is turning into a bloodbath, the Kiwis. Mark Elliott finishing off in the corner. And, oh, wow, New Zealand in complete control of this match. Number seven on the board it is 7-1 on the scoreboard now. Not only did they come out of their tech play on speed, but the way they set it up, and just a simple pass, draw, wingers in. Fantastic work by the touch blacks. 
So they come out to the right-hand side. El Tashi has been quiet in the match as well, but he's on the field now. It goes himself into half. Yeah, they were just getting a little bit too close to the try line there. So Webster just decides to hold the ball, bring it back out side of the five. El Tashi with the ball. He's trying to coax the New Zealanders to come forward, talking to the referee as well at the same time. Here goes El Tashi. Got options on the right. Just floats oh. one over the top. Yeah, that's a nice response there from the Australians. Nice line run from it, Dean Taylor. And finally, Al Tashi works his way into the game. That's the second touchdown for the Aussies. And that's what I, and that's what I said earlier about New Zealand promoting their links up really early. At this time, they waited for their chop line to come through. And the link, great pass, great catch, walked across the line. Wall gets us back underway, sends it to Yonke. Stephen Wall again with the ball, just comes out to the left hand side. Shuka makes a touch on Wall. Nice little wrap around here with Seabeck and Grant taking the ball back. Captain of this New Zealand side. Grant gets the ball, shows it to the inside, comes back off the right foot, switches in nicely. Oh, big touch made there from for him. But they were in all sorts of trouble if they could just get the ball out to that right hand side there, Seabeck. Here we go. Wall and Yonke combination. Scotty Grant goes wide. Oh, unfortunate for uh, the touch blacks, but that, that was a great, great strike at the line by by the New Zealanders. Yeah, just sailed over the head there of Robert Vella. I thought he might have also got a hand to it, but lucky he didn't get fingertips on it. A chance gone, begging there for the New Zealand side. So last time Australia were down this end, they got a touchdown. Can they go back to back? El Tashi, who set that last one up, he's back onto the field. He's in the half now, looks for the option, goes short again. Well, that was almost like a mirror play of what happened for the previous touchdown. El Tashi is working himself into this match now. Number three for Australia, but they've still got a big margin to try to call back. And great play by the scoop who came through, held the ball, held his nerve and waited for the link to come through on the chop line. The New Zealanders holding off instead of closing on that. Great play, great comeback by the Australian Emus. So 7-3 is the score now. New Zealand still have a really handy buffer. There's still time on the clock for Australians to get back in. If they get another touchdown, Michael, three in a row, then they might send a couple of nervous moments through this touch New Zealand side. Any Australian team, they're always dangerous. So the New Zealanders just got to remind themselves, although they're getting some good, t good touches here, make sure they keep their game, keep to the basics, keep doing what they're doing. They've got another strike here. Jason Puddles here. Got Scotty Grant and who else have we got? Andre Robinson out there. Puddles in. Oh, he's Trips chipped over, over his himself. own feet, I think. Yeah, the referee just called times off. We'll just. Double checking, but Puddle is going to make his way to the interchange box now. He's tripped over his go. own feet on that occasion. Scotty Grant, Johnny Mason. We'll see what they can come up with. Went right. Nice. Yeah, nice slide defence from Vela, covering his position out there on the wing. They almost had them Mason on the out. short side there, the Kiwis. And McHeron throws it back on the inside. He's back in the half as McHeron tries to come off the left foot. And a touch made there from Gleeson. Might have got a bit of a stinger on the shoulder as well. He's just shaking that out now. So they'll get the penalty right here on the five. They choose to roll the ball. Now the referee is sending them back to the correct mark. And we're back underway with Morgan, who sends it back on the inside, moves back into half, does Morgan. They'll head towards their sub box now, the Australians. Really got to try to keep the momentum coming as the substitutions work their way onto the field. They're over the halfway now. Ball being handed off by Jarrett. Drive and go more central, this is better. Sharon Guyball, he dishes. They might have numbers here. Shuka just sums it up. Strolls over, gets the ball down. So they have got three touchdowns in a row. As we spoke about, Michael, there might be a couple of little nerves starting to work their way into the New Zealand team. Great, and they were great touchdowns as well. Well worked by the Australians. Catching the New Zealand, just backpedalling all the way through. Just not a good sign for the New Zealanders because you don't want to give the, get the Aussies and their backs up because uh, the floodgates have potential to open here. Here we go, Stephen Wall with a tap. George Yonke comes through, look at appeal play. 
Scotty Grant. Yeah, and the experience here at Shuki was just following him behind a New Zealand player, looking for the over-the-mark penalty. They're also going to be advanced up a little bit further up the field for not returning the ball. No, the referee's just going to send them back to the original mark. There's a lot of pointing going around from the Australians and the New Zealand side, but Shuka takes the tap, gives it to Sharon Geibel, who moves into half again. Shuka straightens the attack before linking up with Fahim. And Shuka again, so also working into the match now, Gavin Shuka. He goes off to the sideline. Now Atashi is back onto the field. He's in the half. He's going to go from half here again. He throws long this time. Altashi, Robbie Vela off the left foot. The diving effort. Wow, that is the fourth in a row for the Australians. 7-5 on the scoreboard. It's game on now, Michael. It is game on. Great comeback by the Aussies. What's been great is actually they're scoring on both sides of the field. Being able to stretch the New Zealanders. Going short. That's made, that's made the New Zealanders' wing clapped. Now they've exposed it, they've gone long. Well, the third quarter goes to the Australians. Touchdowns on the board. They've worked their way back into this match. They're down by two, but the Kiwis still hold on to the lead. It's New Zealand seven, Australia five. We are back out on field one and we have a game on our hands now. The Australians really clawed back nicely in the third quarter, Michael, that New Zealand is still holding on to the lead, but it's been reduced down to two. The score is 7-5 now, the New Zealand side in the lead. New Zealand just holding a two-point margin at this stage anyway. But always, always after half-time is a critical stage here, so let's see what the New Zealanders can do and whether they can hold their nerve because the Australians are coming back firing. Well, this is nice sweet play, but they switch back on the inside to Grant. Nice quick roll ball from Grant Puddle makes his way into the in goal area. A nice touch there. So this time around, coming into the last quarter, the Australians, they don't let a touch in like they did to start the second half. They hold out defensively. Good work from the Aussies. Let's see, here we go. The Australians making their way through the field across to the subbing box. New Zealand is just going to make sure that they've uh, got defence, a strong defence all the way through the field. It looked like there was a fumble there, but not seen by the referees. Here we go. A more direct play by the Australians. That was a trademark of their second quarter. Oh, yeah, they're going to get six more touches here. Sharon Geibel looking to throw that one long out here on the right-hand side in the direction of Paul McPherson. So six more touches and a pressure here on the New Zealanders. Okay. Sharon Geibel again. Wall coming out to make the touch. They head back to Phil Jarrett. Jarrett goes to Sharon Geibel. Nice defence coming in from the wing there from Mark Elliott. For him, switches in Shuka. So he's looked better in the second half. Gavin Shuka, that's been... Yeah, I think this is a turnover. No, lucky to get away with that. From where I was standing, uh, Michael, it looked like it just came off the feet of Philip Jarrett. Yeah, unfortunate for the New Zealander, uh, the defence there, but that's the way the referees saw it. So let's make sure they pick up the defence. Australians setting their strike play up, just spreading the New Zealanders across the field, not getting them just laxed in one play. So here we go. Let's see what they can do. 
Yeah, Shuka's looking to sweep around the back. Sharon Guyville gives it to him nice and early. Shuka goes to dive himself. Well covered there. Wall in the touch now. Did he drop the ball in that motion? They hand the ball back over to New Zealand. New Zealand making their way through the field. Nice, that's the second touch. Making good yards. It's been a hallmark of their game through the tournament. As, as this 40 men are able to make some good yardage. Of course. We'll just make sure he needs to clear the uh, Grant Robinson. Great yards here. Oh, Ooh, I just throw the ball away, but yeah, good call, Michael. The uh, the movement into the line there from Robinson really picked up the tempo there for the Kiwis. They looked dangerous, but yeah, it wasn't the finish that they would have liked there on the end of that set. I'm impressed. Really enjoy that um, how Australia has picked up their game and actually probably play playing up to their potential more now. As they make their way to the subbing box, getting a fresh pair of legs on. And the New Zealanders again. Both teams have been able to make their way through the field really easy. So they've got some uh, touches up in hand to make a strike. Yeah, play on to call. New Zealand is offside in El Tashi. He links up with Dean Taylor. Yeah, definitely offside there, the New Zealanders. And they have reduced the margin again. They're only down by one now, the Australians. What a fight back. George Yonke getting caught offside. But he was uh, back behind the referee trying to get a, a, a slam uh, play there, but referee calling off, which enabled the Australians to run through. So it is all on here. Yeah, that might have been the fourth or fifth touchdown in a row for the Australians. So they have complete momentum in this game. And the Kiwis, they probably need to get a touchdown of their own, possibly in this set, to try to put that buffer back out to two. Grant goes short. The Australians are there in defence. The ball, oh, it's been touched from the Australians. Yeah, oh, the on-field referee yeah. is signalling six to go. I think the sideline referee might have been happy to uh, give the ball back to the Aussies there. So here we go. Let's see what the New Zealanders can do this time. Scotty Grant with the ball. He's got to get themselves organised and make sure they know what they're running in there. Yeah, looks to kick out. It's popped up for Morgan. There's no one at home. Ken Morgan go the full way. He's getting chased down. Oh, the referees have pulled back. And regardless, yeah, the New Zealand cover defence is coming across, but the referees have seen something as Troy Morgan picked the intercept off there. And, oh, they're lucky to get away with that one, the Kiwis. Great chasing by the New Zealanders, regardless. Show some spirit to actually go and chase someone who's got an almost certain run runaway try, but here we go. The New Zealanders really need to uh, have get a try here to make a statement. Oh, they almost created the overlap as well, and pressure coming in on Seebeck. But they hold on to the football, that's the most important part here for New Zealand. Grant sweeps around, they go away from him, and they're still... Interesting play there to finish yeah. that one off. They come down the short side. They were well numbered one on one and they turned the ball over early in the count. Yeah, the Aussies just needed to mirror up on that one where they had the probably overlap on the sweet play there. But that's all right. Aussie equal to the task. They've definitely got the momentum and got the Kiwis on the back foot. And here they come through the field again. Now nice Tashi, direct play. Yeah, again to go. Sharon Guyville just drives in. Altashi comes off the left foot, comes right, still got the ball, fires it onto the outside. Bella pops back on the inside, and New Zealand get their hands on it to shut that one down. Scott Grant probably had to do that. It might have been another touchdown to the Australians, and they could have locked it up there. there go George Onke getting up early. Just catching the Aussies, not just letting them uh, drop on the fire, but here we go. Let's see what... And a penalty here, yeah, it was uh, Yonke just completely stationed on the try line. Wasn't making any attempt to move forward. And Shuka's going to take the tap here. A referee calling the New Zealanders to make their way forward. So, not rolling early. Let's see what they've got. Yeah, coming off the left foot, Shuka, but... Nice defence from the Kiwis. Probably the biggest set in the match here for New Zealand. This is all on. This is excitement. This is why we come and watch or play the game of touch. Oh, and they just hold on to the ball. And they faked and went away from Shuka on that occasion. Altashi is stationed out here on this right-hand side. They link up again. Altashi, can he link up? Sharon Geigel tries to skip his way around, but that was a really big touch made there by Stephen Wall. And they've given the ball 
the penalty for not giving the ball back to the mark, so they advance up the field even further here in New Zealand. So that's a consistent call from the referees. We saw it in the first quarter, so that's all we want um, is to have a consistent call as the referee through Stephen Wall comes through the line. Here we go, Scotty Grant. Back in their way, Jason Puddles taking the ball wide. The New Zealanders need to go direct. Let's see if they come up with something this time. Yeah, McHeron dishing the ball. Seaback moving into half. It's back to McHeron. Looks to kick out. Turn it back on the inside. Puddle with the ball again here now. There's going to be a penalty. Well, the Australians, I don't think they'll move forward. He looks to get underneath. Touch made by Sharon Guyville on Puddle. Great Ooh, that might have been, yeah, Great that could have been the game. Sorry to cut you off, Michael. Great touch by the Australians there, keeping low. Jason Puddle's got a great low game, but Australians equal to the task. Just a bit of direction here by Puddles. They've gone long. Let's see what they come up with. Moving their man off the ball. Good defence by the Australians, shutting that down. It was a mirror play, so Australia equal to their task as they flick the ball wide. They're looking to their subbing box. Two passes out to the wing. Fantastic by the 40 men's. They've still got the momentum going on here, so New Zealand hasn't replied with a, a try at this stage, so they've got the drought on at the moment. Yeah, but they are struggling to get forward so far in this set. They switch in now for him. He dishes off. He goes from half, does for him. He's still going. He looks to connect. They switch back on the inside. They're well covered here. The defence from New Zealand is answering the call. And Taylor, last touch here, so it's looking a little bit disjointed again for the Aussies. They're going to have to try to create something out of nothing. They look to just throw that nice inside ball, just holding it up again, but it goes to ground in New Zealand. They're still holding on. New Zealand should be looking to, to try and find a way to turn the momentum here. What's been working for them in the first uh, quarter was that the, the movement through the, through the field, so just halting that a bit. The New Zealand is just going away from the yardage game at the moment, so they just need to sort of get the dominance back in that part. But at the moment, it's all Australia where the momentum sits. Yeah, we're getting to the back end of this last quarter. If New Zealand can just hold on to the ball and finish this set off, they might just have one more set in defence to try to manufacture. It's Grant. He's just skipping around at the moment. They roll their space in front of Seabeck here. Seabeck's into the in goal area. Can he connect up with anyone? Now this play has been held back. No, the referee is happy. He's going to get the touchdown. And I reckon that is game, set and match for New Zealand. There we go. Well done, New Zealand. New Zealand take this. What is a close match where the Australians never died on this one. Came back, scored five unanswered touchdowns. Five or six was it where they showed their grit. And this is what we come to expect from an Australian team. Oh, what a fantastic men's 40s gold medal match here. We hope you enjoyed the gold medal games this afternoon. New Zealand winning two, Australia getting one. What a fantastic match. Congratulations to the New Zealand men's 40s side, the 2019 World Cup champions.